Evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this afternoon, let us be. Uh, before. In the prayer. Uh, before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine patri et fidi et spiriti sancti. Amen. Revised Horatio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other 
see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly your protection, O Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition and our necessities. But deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Canunzon, pray for us. To our fellow HNI members and everyone, here now is the prayer for protection for hands in ocean age. God our Father, we implore you to us for the enlightenment and rescue, the repentant success of the organization, hands in inclusion in Indus. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from all sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the dead. Keep us in putting God first whatever is the religion of the 14, including the Father, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge, conspiracy, and violence, which might affect the people we are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his party to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe, and open the eyes to the truth of the mind that we hold. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord. Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan, and he may be stop whatever fight that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands inclusion between us. To repent from the sins, they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they have done. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong timings. In your eyes, the organization This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Alonso, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, Pray for us and our family and our friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Peter X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations, and all the people who family work with the organization to make terrible mistakes, and those the people who took part in the conspiracy. To false not use anyone and hands in the church. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he does not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In nomine Patri, et Fili, et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Inclusion Live Weekend. Today is Saturday, February 20, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclu Radio and Hands in Inclusion, Philippines YouTube channel, and Inclu Radio. We will begin our show with our verse for today. From Mark chapter 12, verse 31. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than this. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment. And we will be back after these commercials. Now this. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Okay. Welcome back to One Inclusion Live Weekend. This uh, this evening, we will discuss about functionalism. Functionalism is formed as the reaction to the theories of the structuralist school of thought in its heavenly influence by the work of William James. Major functionalist thinkers included John Dewey and Harvey Carr. The founder of functionalism is William James. Although some sources say that he is not the true founder of functionalism, rather he influenced the movement for functional psychology. Inclusive years of dominance. Functionalism arose in the U.S. in the late 19th century as an alternative to structuralism. The functionalism never became a formal school. It built on structuralism's concern for the anatomy of the mind and led to greater concern over... The furious, oh, sorry, sorry, uh, certainly is concerned with the anatomy of the mind and led to greater concern over the functions of the mind and later to behavioralism. So, in other words, in layman's term, functionalism rose in the U.S. in the late 19th century. This is served as an alternate to structuralism. It never became a formal school, but it was built on the concern on structuralism and it's done for the anatomy of the mind led to greater concern over the functions of the mind and later to behavioralism. William James is an American pragmatist and psychologist. He brought functionalism in the U.S., the first American psychologist, and he is considered as the father of American psychologists. Emotions are caused by physiological changes and coining the phrase streams of consciousness. James proposed that mental life is a unity that flows and changes. He argued personally against the structural disposition that consciousness can be broken into constituent parts. He presented illuminating ideas concerning consciousness, attention, memory, habits, and emotions. He wrote the first general textbook on psychology, The Principles of Psychology, in 1890. He moved from psychology to philosophy. He focused on how our mental and behavioral process function, how it may enable us to adapt, survive, and flourish. Based on William James' ideas about psychology having practical applications to life, assuming thinking was adaptive and sought to identify how the mind and consciousness work. The subject matter of psychology, fashionalism, psychology is the study of 
of mental activity, perception, memory, imagination, feeling, and judgment. Mental activity is evaluated in terms of how it serves the organism in adapting to its environment, focuses on the functions of the mind, study of how mental process operates, study of how the mental process functions in the evolution of the species, what adaptive property provides that would cause it to be selected through evolution. The methods of psychology are functionalism. Mental acts can be studied through introspection, these are instruments to record and measure. Objective manifestation of the mind through the study of its creation and products, and through the study of anatomy and physiology. In essence, functionalism equates social and cultural phenomena with utility. They come into being or exist because they are useful for a given society. The society is seen as an organic whole in which the phenomenon plays a part in regulating and maintaining the health of the society. In other words, functionalism, also called structural functional theory, sees society as a structure with interrelated parts designed to meet the biological and social needs of the individuals in the society. Functionalism grew out of the writings of English philosopher and biologist Herbert Spencer, who saw similarities between society and the human body. He argued that just as the various organs of the body work together to keep the body functioning, the various arts of society work together to keep society functioning. One criticism of the structural functional theory is that it can adequately explain social change. Also problematic is the somewhat circular nature of this theory. Repetitive behavior atoms are assumed to have a function, yet they profess to know how that they have a function only because they are repeated. Furthermore, these functions may continue even though they don't serve a function, which seemingly contradicts the basic premise of the theory. Many sociologists now believe that functionalism is no longer useful as a macro-level theory, but that it does serve a useful purpose in some mid-level analysis. Possibly, a physical stuff kind such as diamond has a physical or sexual essence, like being a thing of a certain opposition or constitution, quite independently of what we do or can be used to do. It happens that diamonds can cut glass, but so can many other things that are not diamonds. If, and if no diamond ever did or cut, could cut glass, then they would not see to be diamonds. Perhaps the card's evil demon assures that all glass is impenetrable. But it's also plausible that not all stuffs are made up in this way. Some things may be essentially constituted by their relation, relations to other things and by what they can do. The most obvious examples are artifacts like, like mouse traps and keys. Being a key is not a matter of being a physical thing with a certain composition, but it's a matter of being a thing that can be used to perform a certain action, maybe opening a lock. Lock is likewise a physical stuff kind, but the kind that exists only in relation to keys. There are mainly metal keys, wood keys, plastic keys, digital keys, and keywords. What makes something a key is not its material composition or not thereof, and rather what it does or could do or supposed to do, making sense of the claim there that there is something that some kinds of things are supposed to do is one of the important challenges for functionists. It, to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen, functionalism was the study of the function rather than the structure of consciousness. I was interested in how the minds adapt to our changing environment. It, it involves your attention, memory, and your emotion. Okay. It's now the time to move on. Let's have some announcements. Okay, for our sales in the hands and inclusion online shop. For the hands and inclusion t-shirts. The HNI t-shirt white colored, small is 430 pesos, medium is 440 pesos, XL large is 450 pesos, XL is 460 pesos, with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the black colored hands in inclusion t-shirts, the small size is 450 pesos, this is for the black colored. Colored. Medium is 460 pesos. 
large is 470 pesos, excess 480 pesos with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. For the hands and inclusion tote bags, the small size is 220 pesos, medium is 240 pesos, large is 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with tax at the back. Hands and inclusion stickers. We include RES, 250 pesos. Iniwi ko ang mga Pinoy EWDs, 150 pesos. Hand inclusion, 150 pesos. You can pay via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen. 0917-701-9684. That's 0917-701-9684. It will deliver to you via TokTok, Lala Move, Gogo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy. In, in areas in NCR, Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, and Bulacan. The rest of the country will deliver to you via LVC. If you want to donate for hands and inclusion, you may do so via GCash and or PayMaya, no matter what, if the amount is smaller or larger. On this number, flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. That's 0917-701-9684. And to those who donated... Thank you for your continuous generosity and for your continuous support to Hands and Inclusion. Okay. So, next in our announcement. Hands and Inclusion will have another webinar this coming February 7, 2021. The title of our webinar for this coming February 7, 2021 is Connecting with Down Syndrome. Connecting with Down Syndrome is the second webinar series of Hands and Inclusion this year. This is one of the major steps to fulfill this vision. It is one of the major campaigns for inclusions of persons with disabilities where the speakers discuss their stories of success and reasons for PWD inclusion, as well as other related information. In this webinar, we will discuss what is Down syndrome all about and the testimony of a mother who was a, a child with Down syndrome. In celebration of the Down syndrome awareness month in the Philippines, we listen and we interact with what Down syndrome is all about. This is coming uh, this Saturday, February 27, 2021, at 1 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. on the Hands in Inclusion Facebook page. In the premiere episode, at around uh, 8 p.m. to around 11.30 p.m. or so, on the Hands in Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. There will be a sign language interpreter for our viewers for our deaf and hard of hearing. Okay, so let us um, get to know our speakers for this for our webinar this coming February 27. Okay, our first speaker is Miss for Monica Lisa La Vitoria Visperas. She is a current resident of the Taguig. ADHD Family Support Group and a member of the Poblacion EWD Federation in Bulacan. So she is a person with lived experience in ADHD, a mother of four children and a solo parent, two of which have ADHD and autism. So So, si Forrester Mona La Vitoria Visperas, siya yung isang, uh, at isang uh, advocate for persons with, with disabilities, kagaya yung may mga taong may kapansanan, kagaya ng mga autismo at 
ang mga taong may ADHD. Another one is Dr. Francis Xavier Daniel Maronila de Malanta. Dr. de Malanta is a fellow and and a member of the Board of Trustees of the Philippine Pediatric Society and the Philippine Society for Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics. He is a licensed medical doctor who specializes in developmental and behavioral pediatrics. Pediatrics and an internationally trained practitioner in child relations and advocacy. He is the head of the Section Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics, as Assistant Head and Former Residency Training Officer at the Institute of Pediatrics and Child Health at St. Luke's Medical Center, Global City, Taguig. And he also runs a clinic at St. Luke's BGC, Taguig, and in St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City. He is having been involved for the longest time in the youth-oriented organizations like CIS CISV. Uh, his expert, his, his background in psychology for his pre-med is causing to focus on children's development, power, family empowerment, and progressive education, among others. His expertise in the field of developmental, developmental and behavioral pediatrics continues to be sought after while he unwavering promotes proper and optimal care for each child that is brought to his clinics. So, Dr. Francis Bimalanta it also attended trainings. Trainings in um, he he attended training at the Harvard Medical School in a children's hospital in Boston and also in Cornell University and Yesh Yeshiva University and she went and he went to Yale, John Hopkins and Brown Universities for his short training there. And he also um Dr. Dimalanta um uh, is in his some the most progressive thinking in the Gen Z. And he came from a family of doctors and his specializations in pediatrics who is greatly influenced by Dr. Francis's mother, Irene, a pediatric specialist with almost 50 years. Some of the um, some of his uh his um uh, the people want to clinics call him Dr. D or Dr. Francis. And he also appeared in he, he Dr. D Malata also appeared in uh, a lot of TV shows like Sakto on DZM on then um, called which is Teleradio. I think it's DZMM Teleradio, which is called today as Teleradio. On Daybreak on Solar News Channel, which is called today as CNN Philippines. And also last November 5, 2020, he appeared on Bawal Judgmental on Eat Bulaga on GMA Network. Kinilala ko din si Dr. To be honest, kinilala ko si Dr. De Malanta when I was 9 years old nung pumunta ko siya sa St. Luke's noong April 2008. And another speaker is Susana P. Yuzon. Susana Pavadi Vichenrut Yuzon is a two-time winner of the Miss Thailand pageant who became the Miss World Beauty pageant winner in 2003 is the founder of Miss Possibilities Foundation. So, Miss Susanna P. Yuzon is the current president and the founder of the Miss World Miss Possibilities Foundation. So Miss Possibilities Foundation and a former Miss World and Miss Thailand. Okay. You will see these speakers this coming Saturday, February 27, 2021 on the Hansing Ocean Philippines Facebook page.
Okay, if you want to learn more about Hands on Inclusion Philippines, you may follow us on our following social media pages. Facebook, Hands on Inclusion PH. Twitter and Kumu, HNI Philippines. Instagram and WordPress, Hands on Inclusion PH. And our official YouTube channel, Hands on Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to um, follow the associated pages on Hands on Inclusion. Facebook, Inclu Radio. Inclu Sports, the Hands in Ocean online shop, Inclu Nihan, and Inclu Gaming, and our YouTube channel, Inclu Gaming. Regarding the anticipated return of Hands in Ocean Philippines in the future as a formal organization, apart from your patience, apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands in Ocean Philippines in the future as a formal organization. And also for this pandemic to end. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, hiniling namin ang inyong tulong at panalangin sa anumang rehinyan ninyo na sana bumalik ang Hands in Inclusion sa panghinaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon. At sana maging maayos tayo at sana maging coronavirus free ang Pilipinas at maging sa buong mundo. At dapat hiniling ito sa Panginoon, sa anumang rehilyan ninyo. Okay, let's have the time for our uh, shoutouts uh, to uh, to Hans and Nick, to my family. Good evening. Hi! To, to my um, fellow Hans and Inclusion members. Uh, good evening to those who are my... Uh, my friends in Best Bodies Benil, in uh, my high school and college friends, and also from my fellow people in Arat in WD United. Uh, good evening, and also to those who are celebrating their birthdays. Happy birthday to those who are celebrating their wedding anniversaries or any anniversary. Happy anniversary. And also to those uh, and also uh, to Miss Jolly Doria, happy birthday from our friends and from Hanson Inclusion Philippines family. And also, to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. And also, next week is the midterm exam in Benil. So, on behalf of Anthony Ocean Philippines, we'd like to wish our Benilian students the best of luck on, their, on your midterm exams. Good luck, study well, and... May the God, God, Lord God bless you. To my fellow Benildians. Okay. And also, don't forget, tomorrow is Sunday and it's considered as the day of rest and faith. As Hansen and Lushan put God first whatever is the religion of our members, we need to remember that Sunday is a day of obligation. That's why we need to attend religious services regardless of your faith. And because of this, your silence is highly appreciated. Okay. Let's have some public service first. Okay, as we have a type. For our weather, as uh, so of 5 p.m. today, uh, typhoon, tropical storm, outing, slightly weakens as it begins to move northwestward. There will be light to moderate with the times heavy rains over the Caraga region and eastern Visayas. Tomorrow, more, tomorrow, moderate to heavy rains will reveal over Dinagat, Surigao del Norte, and eastern Visayas. Light to moderate with the times heavy rains will reveal over northern Mindanao, 
Bico region, Imaropa, Quezon, and the province and the rest of Visayas and Caraga. On Monday, light to moderate and the seminaries will prevail over Bicol, Imaropa, Western, Western Visayas, Cagayan, Isabela, Aurora, and the southern part of Quezon due to the combined effects of the shear line and the weather is anti-tropical storm Aurin. So under these conditions, uh, scattered to widespread flooding, including flash floods and rain in dust landslides are likely during heavy or prolonged rainfall, especially in, hazard, in areas that are high to very high susceptible to these hazards. Adjacent areas will be experience flooding in the absence of such rainfall occurrence due to the surface runoff or swelling of river channels. Pagasa Regional Services Divisions will issue local thunderstorm and rain advisories and heavy rainfall warnings. And Aurin is more, it might uh, might weaken to an LPA by Monday due to the terrain interaction and due to the wind shear and due to the effects of the northeast wind soon. Our weather forecast for tonight until tomorrow morning is that East Visayas and Caraga will have clock with have rains with gusty winds. Western and Central Visayas, Northern Mindanao, and Davao region have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. The areas mentioned with a possible light and moderate damage to structures and to those to these areas mentioned here will take necessary precautions. As this will lead to flash floods and landslides. Cagayan Valley, Cordillera, Bico, and the provinces of Aurora, Quezon, Romblon, Marduque, and Oriental Mindoro will have cloudy skies with rains caused by the northeast one soon. Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon with a partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated light rains caused by the northeast wind soon. The rest of Mindanao will have partly cloudy to cloudy skies with scattered rain showers caused by localized thunderstorms. Moderate to strong winds coming from the northeast to the north will prevail over the sun in the science. Moderate to strong winds coming from the northeast to northwest will prevail over the northern and eastern sections of Mindanao. Light to moderate winds coming from the north will prevail over the rest of Mindanao. Coastal waters along Luzon and Visayas will be moderate to rough. Coastal waters along the northern and eastern sections of Mindanao will be moderate to rough. And coastal waters along the rest of Mindanao will be slight to moderate. Temperature for today is 21 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. Sunset today is at 6.02 p.m. Sunrise tomorrow is at 6.18 a.m. And there's a gale warning issued today. Uh, the nor it will affect the northern, eastern, and southern seaboards of Luzon, the western seaboard of Luzon, and the seaboards of Visayas and, and the northern seaboard of Mindanao. I'd like to remind the fishing folks and other small sea crafts that are not wise not to venture out into the sea while larger sea vessels are directed against big waves. Due to the northeast one soon and due to Aurin. Let's move on. As of 4 o'clock in the afternoon today, the Department of Health confirmed the number of cases in our country. With 34,100 active cases, 513,120 recoveries, 12,068 deaths. With the overall total of 559,288. And then what's the number of positive today? 1,652 the number of positive, 24,565 in the number of tests, 6.8% are positive, and 94.9% are mild in the symptomatic cases. 62% available slots for ICU beds, 68% available slots for isolation beds. 77% available slots for wired beds and 80% available slots for ventilators. 86.7% are mild, 8.2% are asymptomatic, 2.3% are critical, 0.2% severe, and 68% moderate. And uh, that was the time for, for this evening for One English and Live Weekend, Sunday, Saturday edition for Saturday, February 20, 2021. On behalf of Inku Radio and Hansi Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you. Good evening. May God bless us all. That's good all the time. All the time, God is good. Peace be with us. 
or may God bring peace with us. And, pagpalain tayo na wa ng puong may kapal, sa uh, bidang pala, paganda sa ikaapat na anniversaryo ng Hands in Inclusion. Ito ang bagong tapang ng One Inclusion Nation. At Hands in Inclusion, include us and include each other. One Inclusion forever, H&I, God first. Thank you, good night, may God bless us all. And have a pleasant evening to all. Thank you at maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat.